From Faith Baptist Church, this is Power Surge. Now your speaker, Jim Kane. I'm reading today from Psalms chapter 29, and I'm going to start with verse 11, even though I'm going to refer to other verses. While I give those that want to follow along, and if, if you're going to keep up with the verses, just stay in Psalms chapter 29. Let me speak to those that are watching on the video and those that are listening on the radio. We welcome you. We're so glad that you are sharing your time with faith. And if you do not have a church, if you do not go to church, we'd love to have you visit us some Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. live right here at Faith. We would absolutely love to have you. And if you don't have an opportunity to visit us, we'd love to hear from you. If you look in the corner of the screen there, it says faithbaptistlinden.com. And if you would uh, click on the Contact Us tab up there, and you, there are different ways and modes that you can reach out to us. We would love to hear from you. Praise reports, prayer requests. If this ministry has blessed you in any way, please share that with us, faithbaptistlinden.com. All right, I'm reading from Psalm chapter 29. Psalm 29, verse 11. And then we'll refer to other verses. Just keep it open there. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Since it's just one verse, we can read it again. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for the opportunity to expound your word. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will bless us in every way. Anoint me with the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Don't let me do or say anything I shouldn't say or do and help me to say or do that that I should say or do. Give me love. Give me wisdom. Give me boldness and help me to speak what thus saith the word of the Lord and share what you have laid on my heart for this message. Cause everyone that is watching, everyone that is listening, that they would be open and receptive to your word. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. The title of the message today, it's a long title, is The Voice of the Lord is Your Chain Breaker. The Voice of the Lord is Your Chain Breaker. Now let me just skip right to the nuts and bolts of this message and say to you today, Jesus Christ is your only answer. I want to be your answer, but I'm not your answer. Your spouse is not your answer. Your parents are not your answer. Your siblings, your children, your grandchildren, your friends, your co-workers, nobody is a true answer like Christ is. If you do not have Christ in your life, you are missing the most important part of your life. Oh, I know marriage is important. I know having children is important. But the most important thing you can do in your life is surrender your life over to Jesus Christ. And some people don't do that because they do not lean on His Word. They do not lean on His voice. And I'm here to declare to you today in this message that the voice of the Lord is your chain breaker. It's Jesus Christ that gives you the strength to endure. I am convinced that there are people that are watching and people that are listening right now. I'm convinced that there are people that have gone through things that would have done some folks in. I'm convinced there are people that are watching and people that are listening. That, that have gone through things that would have made other folks quit. I am convinced that there are people that are watching and listening that have gone through things that would have put some people in the ground. But I'm here to stand before you today, and I'm here to share for those that are watching on the video, listening on the radio, I'm here to share with you that Jesus Christ is your answer, and the voice of the Lord is your chain breaker. Those of you that watched last week's message, you heard me talk about what's your 
testimony. And it was so ironic that after I shared that message, what's your testimony, we had a huge youth event, bonfire event on our campus. And we, we, we were flooded that day. The Lord gave us great weather in the middle of a rainy, stormy weekend. We had great weather, and it was awesome. And there were games, and there were hot dogs, and there were food. But the most important part was about Jesus Christ. We had a young lady from our local school system that came forward, and she was one out of three people to share devotions, and she shared her testimony. And her testimony was how she accidentally started a social media ministry. And now it has grown and grown and grown. And she is very active. As a senior in high school, she's very active in sharing her testimony and letting the voice of the Lord be her chain breaker in her life. She didn't plan to do this, but the voice of the Lord was her chain breaker. We had another young man that he spoke. He spoke on forgiveness. And he spoke about the fact that forgiveness was one of the hardest things that in his life that he has to do. It's hard for him. He's speaking on forgiveness and he's admitting that's one of the hardest things for him to do. But I personally know this young man and I know that this 20-year-old young man has been through some things and I know that this 20-year-old man has a desire and a heart for Jesus Christ and he wants to share his testimony as he did at this large youth event that we had because the voice of the Lord is his chain breaker. The third young man, he stood up to talk about his testimony. And one of the, th one of the things that he told the youth there at that youth event that night, he said, I'm here to tell you that a year or two years ago, I would not have been here. I couldn't have done it. But for Jesus, the voice of the Lord was his chain breaker. So what I'm doing today when I'm speaking on this subject, the voice of the Lord is your chain breaker, I'm here to say to you that you let God do it all. Christ is your answer. Every one of us, we have a purpose. Every one of us, we have callings. Every one of us have things that God expects us to do, but we don't let him do it because we don't hear the voice of the Lord. And we don't let him break the chains that bind us and strap us down. We don't let him do it because in our flesh we feel hopeless. I don't care how hopeless you feel today. Jesus Christ is your answer, and the voice of the Lord can break the chains in your life no matter what they are. I said it last week in the message on testimonies. It takes a test to turn it into a testimony, and some of you have been through tests, and maybe you're going through tests. Let Jesus Christ come in and help you win the battle that you're facing, and let your test become your testimony. You say, Jim, you don't know what I've been through. I don't need to know what you've been through because I know the chain breaker. I know the voice of the Lord. Did you hear what the scripture said today? I've read it twice. Let me read it the third time. Did you hear what the scripture said? It says the Lord will give strength unto his people. Are you one of his people? And if you're not, let me introduce you to Jesus Christ. Let me help you repent of your sins. Let me help you say the, the sinner's prayer. Let me baptize you. I want you to be saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, water baptized, and get on your way to heaven, your journey to heaven, because the voice of the Lord is your chain breaker. I love this scripture. I know this is the fourth time. The Lord will give strength unto his people, and I'll finish this one for the third time. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Are you his people? Now let me, let me explain what I'm reading from. I'm reading from Psalm. The book of Psalms, they call it. David wrote a whole lot of the Psalms. And this is one of the first writings that David did on praise. A Psalm of praise. He did 24 writings of, of praise, 24 psalms of praise. Out of 150 chapters in Psalm, David wrote 24 of them psalms of praise. The last one being in Psalms 150, 
where it talks about how and where we praise him. We praise him on the loud sounding instruments, the stringed instruments, the cymbals, and so on. But, but, but David, this is his very first psalm right here of praise out of 24. And he wrote it about God's holiness and God's majesty. So what I want to do is, I, I'm not going to read it all, but I want to break it down for you. And if you are following along in the Bible, I want you to go all the way back to Psalm 29, verse 1. We've been reading verse 11 three or four times. But I want to go back to verse 1, and I want you to understand the power of the message today. The voice of the Lord is your chain breaker. In verse number 1, it says, given to the Lord. Now, now notice this. I should have said this first. Verse 1 and verse 2, these are commandments that David gave to us. Verse 1 says, given to the Lord, O you mighty ones. Verse 2 says, given to the Lord glory and strength. Verse 2 says, given to the Lord the glory do his name. Now, I'm not talking about given money. Yeah, we have to have money to make things happen, I understand that you do, the church does, I do, corporations do. I'm not talking about money. Give unto the Lord, all ye mighty ones. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory do his name. And I love this last part right here. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Worship the Lord. Now let me warn you, if you've never visited faith before... Let me warn you that we, we're, we're not somber and we're not quiet and we're not, you know, we're not real formal because we believe in worshiping the Lord. Now, I don't know if you have a sports team of any kind, but if you have a sports team and your sports team, it's down to the wire and they're about to lose or it's a tied situation, I, if, you're, if you're like me, you get pretty excited and you'll make a lot of noise. And if you're, if you're at home watching, you're standing up. You're getting out of, your, out of your chair. You're getting off of your sofa. You're excited about this. And that's the way I love to treat the Lord. I, 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 I want to make more noise for the Lord than I do a touchdown. I want to make more worship to the Lord than I do if my favorite NASCAR driver wins. Worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Now, I've had folks to say, well, Jim, you're, you're radical. Jim, you're too loud. Jim, you're a Jesus freak. Jim, you make everything about God. Let me, let me just share back with you. Yes, 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 and yes. They're right. Yes, I am radical. Yes, I'm a Jesus freak. Yes, I'm loud. You can experience that right now. And yes, I make everything about God because that's what he's done for me. The voice of the Lord is my chain breaker. Now look at verse number, number three. This is pretty powerful. Verse number three through 11 actually gives us the praise descriptions of God's voice and God's power. Verse number three. Psalm 29, verse 3, the voice of the Lord is over the waters. He's pretty powerful, isn't he? Pretty full of, of uh, uh, he's very majestic. The voice of the Lord is over the, the waters. The voice of the, the God of, of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. Verse number 4, here we go again. The voice of the Lord is powerful. Again, the last part of verse number four, the voice of the Lord is full of majesty. Verse number five, it keeps going. David's writing a psalm of praise. The verse five says, the voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord splinters the cedars of Lebanon. And FYI, that was the highest peak of, east, of the eastern range in Lebanon. And, and David said, the voice of the Lord splinters the cedars. Of Lebanon. He's powerful. Let me just say this right now before I go into verse 6. You go to the mountain, the voice of the Lord is there. You're down in the valley, the voice of the Lord is there. You're bound by sin. You're bound by life. You're bound in chains. You're bound in bondage of life. The voice of the Lord is there because Jesus Christ is your chain breaker. 
I know I say it a lot. I say it very frequently, and I'll probably keep saying it. Almost said I'm sorry that I say it, but I'm really not. Let me say to you, if you're in chains, if you're bound in life, if you're bound in sin, and, and, and you are in trouble, and, and, and you, need, you need the chains of life and the chains of sin and the chains of bondage, of addiction, the chains of, of habits. You need something to deliver you. Let me tell you right now, it's there because the voice of the Lord is your chain breaker. And you have not been big enough. You have not been bad enough. You have not done enough that he can't break the chains of hell, sin, and bondage off of your life no matter what you have done. Oh, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're saying to yourself. I know what you're, maybe if you're listening to the radio and you're turning to somebody in the car, yeah, but he don't know about me. I don't need to know about you. I don't need to know where you've been because I know what the problems are. It's not him, it's us. One problem is we have trouble forgiving ourselves. Another problem is we, have, we, we get embarrassed and we, and we don't want to come forward. We feel like we have ruined our life. Our life feels hopeless. Maybe we have secret sins in our lives. You don't have to tell me your secret sins. Confess them to Jesus Christ and he can break the chains of bondage off of your life. Jesus is your chain breaker. Verse 6 says he makes them also Skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young wild ox. That's a bull calf. I looked that up. I wasn't sure what that meant. Verse 7 says again, the voice of the Lord divides the fire, the flames of fire. Kind of like think of lightning right there. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The, the Lord, I'm in verse 8. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The, verse 9, the voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare, and in his temple everyone says glory. Finally, verse 10 says, The Lord sits in throne, sat in throne at the flood. Let me tell you what, if, you, if you've ever been around church and you've heard about Noah's day, it's pretty bad. He sat in throne at the flood, and the Lord sits as king forever. Now we are back to the last verse. Verse 11 that we started with that we've already touched on three or four times. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, the voice of the Lord is your chain breaker. No matter where you are, no matter what you've done, no matter where you've been, no matter what you've gone through, no matter how low you have gone. The voice of the Lord is your chain breaker. There was a man in the Bible that his 12-year-old daughter, Jairus' daughter, she died. She had died and, and Jesus got there a little too late because he was busy healing other people. How about that? And, and they were not happy. And, and it, was, uh, it was Jesus, Peter, James, John, and the two parents that went in. Six people went in to this little girl's bedroom. And she was there, and, 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 the, and the people, the parents, they were, they were wailing. I think the King James Version says they were bewailing. They, they were all upset, which is very natural in our flesh. And finally, after a little bit of them just having, having a breakdown, Jesus looked at them and said, stop your wailing, stop your weeping. And I'm putting some of this in my own words, but you can verify it if you want to read about it. And, and Jesus said, stop your, stop your wailing. She stop crying, I believe his words. She's just sleeping. Watch this. They laughed at him. Jesus told the other five, stop your, stop your crying. She's just sleeping. They laughed at him. You know what Jesus did? He's a chain breaker. You know what Jesus did? He kicked those five people out of the room. And the Bible says in John that Jesus reached his hand down and got her hand and said, little girl, arise. The voice of the Lord was this little girl's chain breaker, brought her back from death. Little girl, rise. The voice of the Lord. Another example that we talk about sometimes is, the, is, is one of Jesus' friends. His name was Lazarus. They sent word that Lazarus was dying. It's bad. His, his, he was friends with Lazarus. He was friends with Lazarus' sisters, Mary and Martha. They sent word, Lazarus is dying. And Jesus didn't get there in time because, yes, he was. 
He was busy healing people along the way. When he got there, Mary and Martha were pretty upset with Jesus. Now, they, they were all kind of close, and, 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 and they began to talk to him. And I, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I, I, I believe that one of them, if not both of them, they had their hands on the hips and said, well, if you'd have been here, he wouldn't have died. I believe, I, I believe they looked at him and cut their eyes at him and said, well, you're too late now. Your, your friend and our brother's gone. Watch this. Jesus wept. The shortest, the shortest verse in the Bible, Jesus himself wept because it was his friend and he loved Lazarus. But the Bible says that he didn't stop. When he got through weeping, when he got through being chastised by Mary and Martha, Here's what Jesus did. He went on down to the tomb. And the Bible says, remember the title of the message here today, the voice of the Lord is your chain breaker. Jesus said, the Bible says that Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Let me tell you what, Lazarus rose from the dead. And I'm here to say in closing this message today that I'm speaking to people right now to tell you that when Jesus steps in, when Jesus speaks, all we have to do is surrender to him. We need to drop a little bit of tood and say, here I am, Lord. I sure have messed up, but I am surrendering my life and heart to you. We sing a song here at Faith. We just sang it called Chain Breaker, written by Zach Williams. He released the album in 2016. Chain Breaker, that was the name of the album. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you've got pain, he's a pain taker. He's a chain breaker. The title of the message is The Voice of the Lord is Your Chain Breaker. And let me speak to you in the final moments before I do a closing prayer and say there is nothing. I said it a while ago. Let me say it again. There is nothing that you have done that Jesus Christ can't reach down enough to pick you up, to save you, to salvage you, and rescue you wherever you are. Again, you're not big enough, you're not bad enough, and you have not done enough that Jesus Christ doesn't lean over the balconies of heaven to you and say, I love you. I want to save you. That's why I went to Calvary for you. Your debts have already been paid. Nothing, nobody, nowhere that he can't reach and surrender your life and heart to Jesus Christ. If you don't have a church, come see us. Let me introduce you to Jesus. If you have a church, go to that church and tell them, I need, I need to commit my life and heart to Jesus Christ. I need to recommit my life and heart to Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you, my, my, my. Thank you for such a powerful word. Lord, your, your word today, just it just cuts and penetrates through our spirit because you are our chain breaker. You are, your voice, the voice of the Lord is the power that we need in life. We don't need the voice of news media. We don't need the voice of politicians. We don't need the voice of religious people. We don't need the voice of preachers. Like we need the voice of the Lord to speak into our lives. And I pray that you bless everyone that's listening and everyone that's watching. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. This has been Power Surge with speaker Jim Kane of Faith Baptist Church. For more information about this ministry, visit us online at faithbaptistlinden.com or visit us in person Sunday mornings at 1030 a.m.